Welcome to our eighth short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 30th of June 2020. My name is Sebastian Bode, and as always, I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleagues Claudius and Dirk from our service office in Bautzen and from home office. As always, the colleagues are ready to answer all your questions directly. But how does that work? No matter which device you use, you will find the possibility to send us questions directly in the webinar tool, which we will answer back to you. Important, we do not communicate with you publicly, but only privately. Of course, we will stay after the webinar until we have answered all your questions. We will then only switch off the microphones, but will still be available via chat and question window. This webinar will also be recorded and is always uploaded on different platforms. These include our help page, help.orgadata.com, and our YouTube and Vimeo channel. We know that many of you use AutoCAD for many necessary technical drawings in your project. Often something is drawn in AutoCAD, then the element has to be updated manually in Logical and also the way back. A lot of work, and I can say from my own experience, unfortunately, also very, very buggy. How does the whole thing can go easier now? There are two possibilities. We already showed you one possibility in May in cooperation with the leading CAD software Athena from Catplan in Frankfurt. Athena is also based on AutoCAD. If you missed the webinar, you will of course find the recording on our help, uh, on our help page on our YouTube channel. The second way, if you're not using Athena, is our so-called logical plugin for AutoCAD. And this you can very easy, simple install via your logical. Look here in the additional settings, in the interfaces, and there you can find it, the AutoCAD plugin. Simply click on the install button and Logical finds automatically where your AutoCAD is installed and is already automatically put inside. At this point, some hints. Of course, you can use also the plugin if you have Athena installed on your computer. This works very good side by side. Basically, the following applies. To, to use the plugin, you must be logged in with the module cut suit 2d this is the normal uh, basic for the normal logical cad if you are missing here the one or the other license please contact us some additional information for the autocad you had to use the full version of it up from version 2050. so at this point the plugin is installed and then let's take a look here in AutoCAD. have here a new part here, and in this tab is called Logical Plugin. The unique first step here is that you have to specify the path where uh, your Logical can be found. This you can find here in the plugin configuration. You set it here, the path where, where, the, where, where your Logical is, on the server or directly on the PC and so on. And after that, you can very easy log here in. Important, if you only need the plugin for a short time, just log in, make the function, use the function, and then log here off. Log off, and then with this, you can release your license for your colleagues. Okay, these are some, some basic informations about the plugin, but at this point, I want to start with the functions. And for this, let's, let's imagine a situation. You are involved in the very early planning process and you need only some profile sections in the first steps to, to make the early planning. And you want to have it without creating extra projects and elements and so on in Logical. Even though we all know that the project and element creation in Logical is very fast, we have managed to simplify it even more for this early planning phase. Simply with this function, window door section. 
With this function, the plugin goes directly in the database of your logical and opens in special window. Here on the wrong screen, I bring it here over that you can see it. And there you can choose at first the system. You take here an WD72 from Heral with the right rule package and so on. You go into the next step and there you have to imagine that you have one basic profile in the middle and then you can say to the plugin what you want to have on the left side and on the right side. As an example, we want to have on the left side a window opening inside with an, yeah, normal to layer glazing. Nothing on the rest, uh, right side and then you only have to choose here the profiles. Okay, and with very less clicks, you have here a very nice section. So, and this also works for, for curtain walls, for curtain walls here. And if you only want to have really some special, uh, some special profiles out of a logical database, then you can get them with this function. here. The last point is useful if uh, you are you have already constructed the elements in logical with this you can get directly the cross sections you know from the normal normal input uh, normal element input from logical it's very fast and very easy but what happens if something changes in the position with this function you have to take care by yourself that you change the drawing and the position in logical too. And exactly this brings us to the next area of functions. Instead of simply importing the section, you can insert the whole element as an intelligent block with a load elevation here. We look for the right project, for the right element, and then you can bring it directly here. As this, I called it uh, I said it, intelligent block. And yeah, if you need here now a section, take here the function. Section line, you want to have this here. And now you have it here in your drawing. Very easy and very, very fast. So, and we all know that you are not every time working alone on one project. And uh, for this, let's take a look on the screen of your colleague. You take a look here in the logical, and as an example, the architect called your colleague and yeah, said to him, the, the window, yeah, need another width. No problem, we change it here. And we finish the position. And after that, we go back to your screen and you see here now the old width. But with one click here, update elevation, everything is updated. Not only the view, but also here the section. So, and this is for every element you had here, you have here in your drawing. At this point, a little hint. If Logical tells you that your colleague is already working on the project, can very simply check here in special box in the additional settings in Logical. If you activate this, you can work with, with uh, more than one user in the project. So with one from the Logical plugin and with one directly from Logical. Okay, we go now back to, uh, to, to AutoCAD and yeah, everything is, uh, is always with one click up to date. And also if you, if you want some additional, uh, some other settings here, as an example for the sections, if you don't want to see here the profile numbers, you can change these here in the user, in the user settings. As an example, we take here the, 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 without the profile numbers, everything else is also here possible. One click on okay and everything is updated directly. Okay, with this, 
we have now looked on how to deal with the situation when the colleague changes something directly in logical and your your drawing has to be updated especially during the normal technical planning however some elements has to be changed and then changing to logical change it there and go back and uh, act, um, update it and so on this is very complicated and for this you have here a special function for it edit elevation you have only to choose the element and in the background the normal logical input of element starts i bring also this here on the screen and then yeah as an example we need a special add-on profile we add this here we want to take this okay and then we finish the position the input of element closes and the element is directly updated here in your autocad so you have every time the, the updated element here with the add-on profile in the view and in the section so and if you take here a look into logical you can hear in the cross section you have here also the add-on profile so in the autocad the updated element and also here in logical yeah and in this part of the functions you have also some additional function but i could not show you everything but my favorite function for this i take the time here my favorite function here is apply free input you all know the possibility of the free input with this you have the possibility in logical to adapt the geometry of the element not only with the grid fields and the dimension input and some other functions but you can also draw a free form with which the element is then constructed normally this is based on the on the logical cid but with this function you can transform the geometry di directly from from autocad as an example from the drawing of an of an architect and so on but enough talk let me show this to you we take here the function line and yeah, i'm making very special window here also an malium here so and also in transom okay we take this go into the logical plugin take the function and then you know it you have to take here um, the right project um, we take this one and then also here automatically the known input of element starts in the background and i bring it here on this screen so and with a nice system preferences we only have to bring here the we have here only to select the inserts then you can finish the position and it goes directly back to autocad and you see it here and now we can go again make again some sections and work with it and if you take a look here in logical you have it also here and i think this is the easiest really really easiest way also to bring big big elements big elevations here into logical from from the free input and with the right system preference you had seen very fast and very easy okay the conclusion of this is some very cool and very practical functions which you have the access to your elements in logical directly in the planning with autocad so if every time the the updated elements in two programs but when you take a look here we had really seen uh, till here the additional functions the additional functions here in plans 
I would not like to withhold this from you because these functions offer you further cool ways to get information from lo logical directly into your drawing here. But in contrast to the functions shown before, these are only imported drawings. If these position, uh, if the position is changed, you must import these drawings again. But they are also, uh, but they are also great, because as an example, you can import here the bar drawings. Um, as an example, we take here this from this window here, from this window can make some some settings and then we have here every bars of the of the whole profiles you can see here you can take the dimensions you can control it and so on so very easy very nice and the same also is with the shaped glass here we take also the the right project here and then we have here the glazings of our elements we had here. So everything very easy here. And yeah, if you have the if you have the, the cuts you to D, then try it. It's very, very easy and good. Okay. At this point, finally, I would like to uh, tell you also if you're not using AutoCAD, you can also take these functions in the logicals, the most of these functions in the logical CADs. So take a look, you can find them there normally on the on the left side. Yeah, when I take a look on the on the clock, the 20 minutes are almost over here, but shortly before the end, I would still like to give you a short preview of the next time. In the webinar, in the last big webinar through the summer with logical, at the beginning of June, um, there was one main topic about the working hours. I think a very ex exciting and of course very extensive topic. And after that I get some questions from you about the exact setting of the different working hours. And that's exactly what we will uh, take a look at again in two weeks. Be curious about that and if you haven't done it yet, please register directly via our homepage. At this point, finally, the usual final note. If you have further interest, you can simply participate in the following survey and we will get back to you soon. At this, let's rock the week together. Stay healthy. Thank you. Until then, bye.